Hello, this is Reverend Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from 1 John 3, Love One Another. This is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, <clears throat> who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. Um, so again, you're supposed to love one another. So if you're sexist, racist, you know, that's not really loving your brother, is it? Just putting that out there. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. So, jealousy. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters. If the world hates you, we know that we have passed from death to life. So see, we are not of the world. So of course the world is going to hate us. Because we're not like it. Because we love our brothers and sisters. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And that's, you know, in your mind. And you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. Meaning Jesus. <clears throat> this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. Not because we deserved it, but because he wanted to do that. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. And that's why people who uh, talk to me about being a Democrat and being like against military, I'm like, no, ho, hold on, wait a minute. You're wrong. You don't know me. You're just pushing stereotypes there, buddy. Um, because I come from a family where there's military people. And I respect military people who go out and put their lives on the line for all of us. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? So that's another thing I'm going to harp on here a little bit. People who don't believe in social programs. Jesus said, take care of the fatherless, the widow, the homeless. Okay, that's what social programs try to do is to help the fatherless, the widow, the homeless, clothe the naked, feed the hungry. That's what they do. Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. You know, just like the Pharisees, you can sit in the church all day long and say all these marvelous, wonderful things. But the proof is in the pudding. You can talk all the talk you want. If you're not walking the walk, you're not following Jesus' footsteps, are you? Then this is how we know that we belong to the truth. And how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. Whenever our hearts condemn us. And remember what I said about the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes on you, it's going to condemn you of your sins. It's going to say, hey, guess what? That's not right. You know that's not right. You need to stop that, change, confess, make amends, whatever you need to do. For God is greater than our hearts. Because it's just a big muscle full of electrical system. And we can feel things there that are emotions. But they don't come from there. They come from our mind and our soul. And our soul, you know, is in pretty much the torso of your body. Um, they say, you know... I don't know that anybody really knows but God, but anyway, um, so you feel from that heart center. And he knows everything. And we don't know everything. Any of you who think you do know everything, you don't. Silly. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask. 
Now, does that mean God's going to just give you a million dollars and big castle live in? No. Because <laughs> he knows what's best for you. You know what you think will make you happy. He knows what's best for you. Because we obey his commands and do what pleases him. And that'll go a long way for making your life work out all right. As if you're living to do what you know is the right thing. And this is his command. Excuse me, got a leg itch here. To believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. And to love one another as he commanded us. So... If you're hating on other people, if you're hating on people because of their sex, because of the color of their skin, which is absolutely stupid, uh, or because they're not the same religion as you, that's hate, ain't it? Yeah. Those who obey his commands live in him. And he in them. So you got to walk the walk. You can't just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. It's like I said, when you get saved and the Holy Spirit comes down in you, everything changes. The old you is gone. The new you starts coming out. <laughs> and like, like people say, how do you know? That you were meant to, you know, minister and serve. And it's like, because God told me and he really didn't give me a choice. Because anytime I tried to do something else, it didn't work out. <laughs> he kept pushing me along this path until finally I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so that, you know, I can have peace in my life. And I did. So there we are. <laughs> all right. Um, and that's all for now. Um, and love one another. Love one another. Because hate, it don't come from God. It comes from somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so if you're hating on other people, you know, and, you know, Christians aren't the only people who do it. There's other religions out there who hate on other people because of the way they believe. So, you know, if God is love and God wants you to love, there's no place for hate. That's all for now. Until next time.